Okay, what do we got here? What are we reviewing today? Stardew Valley. Oh, all right. I know, but like, I never played it. Stardew Valley describes itself as an open-ended country life RPG, and it nails exactly what it calls itself. On paper, the idea of Stardew Valley sounds very boring and tedious. I mean, your main objective is to make money by farming, cave exploring, fishing, looking at animals, selling stuff, so fun. But, through a very cutesy art style, and some very rewarding gameplay loops, Stardew Valley manages to get me to come back to it at least 30 minutes a day. The story is simple. Your grandfather leaves you a will, and says you should only open it when you find yourself lost. After opening the letter, you find that it is a will to an old farm. Armed with very basic tools, it's your job to start a fresh fuck. Armed with very basic tools, it's your job to start fresh and embark on a new life. That's the main point of the game, that you make your own story. Do you want to be a cave explorer? A fisherman? A farmer? A gigolo? <laughs> Maybe you just really want to talk with all 30 different NPCs in town, each one of them with their own schedules. You can even take them on a date, and eventually marry them and everything. But not me. Nobody likes me. Just love me. Regardless of which path you choose, the game does a very good job of making sure you have a sense of progression on what you're doing. With a plethora of upgrades to buildings and tools to facilitate your job. The game is also divided by seasons that affect the entire world and what you can do in it. Along with the gameplay changes, the game also brings you a plethora of festivals. Moments like these can really make the game feel populated and alive. And thanks to that, it makes you care about it and its town folk. Or like me, you stay inside and watch TV and sit by the fireplace because people scare me. Stardew Valley might be a good game, but it's not a perfect game. The main criticism I can give is that the game is not for everyone. If you like games like Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon, this is right up your alley. The game also doesn't feel like it gives you enough incentive to complete side quests. Though the game has a great progression system for your skills, the side quests leave a bit to be desired. At the beginning of the game, the quests are very helpful. They give you money, which is very hard to come by. But after just 10 hours into the game, the side quests don't pay off like they used to. All those negatives don't outshine what is one of the best indie games ever made. Never record in a weighted blanket. So hot, so heavy.